Sue Ellen was my sister-in-law. She was 32 and she died by suicide. My brother John was 34. He died by suicide. My brother Timmy was 38. He died through suicide. My cousin Paul was in his 30s. He died through suicide. My cousin Terry was 27. He died through suicide. My second little cousin Marlene, she was 13. She died through suicide. And it does have an impact on your mental health. It's trying to pass as a, settled, a member of the settled population. So you're not being your true authentic self. Mm -hmm. that, that mentally is very, very difficult. You know, you're living two separate lives and no one can maintain that. Yeah, they deliberately put that wall around us to fence, fence travellers in completely away from society, out of sight and out of mind. So if you, you know, your husband or one of your children wanted to go out for I, I don't know, a cup of tea or a meal, would you have to sort of pick where you went to know oh, that you went definitely, to? definitely, definitely. And I'd have to have a um, relationship with that service to be able to book it and that they'd know me and my family. You just couldn't randomly say I'm thirsty or I'm hungry and I need to go and get something to eat. It doesn't work like that for travellers. Because you couldn't guarantee that the person oh, would... Oh, no, you're it, just going to be stopped. Like, I, I'm getting married to a settled person. You know, she's from the settled community, she's not a traveller. When we first started going out, and me and her and my mother went to a shop in Letterkenny. And the security man was walking behind us, very subtly kind of watching us, what we were doing, and we were speaking. And in a sense, me and my mother was oblivious, but my partner couldn't believe this. Sometimes I get that reality check from her to saying, this is not right. Yeah. You know, these things are not normal. They don't, didn't happen in her life. So it is a real life consequence of travellers' lives. We live in the shadows of racism, discrimination and oppression daily. Now, we'll get you sorted out. No, you can put a cat into a dog box, but it's always going to be a cat. So you can put us into houses and assimilate us, but we're always going to be indigenous people. That runs through our blood. We're proud and we're dignified people. We have solutions and we want you to listen to us. We don't want to waste any taxpayers' money. We're not in it for money. We're in it to stay alive and to keep our young kids alive.